Hey guys, what's happening? So, time to do part three of the uh, ball screw conversion on the uh, 3018 CNC. Um, okay, so on the last video I did uh, the Y-axis and it turned out great. Um, yeah, we're talking like zero play in there. And that's actually what you want if you're going to be cutting aluminum or, I mean, for me I wanted to cut aluminum and, and carbon fiber. But, uh, yeah, like I said, you you can't have any sort of play, and the, the original ball screws were just horrendous. So um, here's what I got so far, what I've designed. Here's my original ones, um, but the specs I got online were were different for the ball screw. Here, here. Like it didn't fit. So what I did is I redesigned the uh, the bearing blocks, and they're just gonna go all the way through like that now. So the bearing blocks, if you're wondering go here they hold the ball screw up in here like that and that's actually what's going to hold the actual this uh, my new um, uh, z-axis which is going to go right here so I need a way to be able to hold this in there because this thing is actually pretty heavy and that's actually what you want you want heavy the more the heavier the better the CNT exact opposite of a 3d printer all right so um, have the uh, bearings where they were. I can't where they're at, but uh, here they are. Okay, I got a fancy product so I can clean this mess up. Right, so, that's the bearings. It's going to require four bearings. And then you basically have it super, super tight because I didn't want any. I mean, you're basically going to have to pound this together to get, to get this in there like that. Actually, I got to clean up some of this stuff, but I mean, you're going to need to like pound it in there to get it in there. I mean, I wanted that. I didn't want any sort of play at all. All right, so get that going. Um, Got to clean up the parts a little bit, and then what's interesting is this different. This is a different version of PLA, so it printed a little bit different. Like, like it fits fine in this one, but a little bit tighter in that one. All right, so I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna probably use my uh, dead blow soft hammer to get that in there. All right, so to get my bearing block together, you can uh, either use like a dead blow hammer or like like a vise. A vise works too. Yeah, you might be a little bit better off doing the vise. <laughs> so I whacked it too hard and I cracked it right there. And this is actually 100% PLA. But it's actually at a very thin spot, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, Maybe I'll redesign it and make it a little thicker in the next version of it. Um, this actually one was a little bit thicker. My other one was a little bit thicker right in there. Um, I mean, it could also make this bearing block thicker, but since it's going to be mounted down uh, in eight different spots, I'm not worried about it. Alright. This is going to push it down. Alright, so the device came with four T-nuts, M6 T-nuts, but so I, I actually bought some more to add because I actually want to have eight spots. But the way I'm getting the T-nuts down there is I'm just using a, a zip tie. All right, so I'm going to pound in some M4 nuts, lock nuts, to hold on the uh, ball screw here. All right, so I got to get these, got the rods through. Um, so now I got to get it up on here, but it's such a tight fit here, I might have to loosen up the sides here just to get in there. Um, I'll try without it, but I'm not going to get it on camera, just because it's going to be hard to get the tripod over here and do all that stuff. Um, yeah, even just you know making these videos slows me down tremendously. Alright, all right. Yeah, these burns are tired, they're going to have to get worked in. Yeah, it's going to be super stable though. Um, I noticed that they actually, I lost a little bit of clearance. So here was the original right here. Um, actually went this way. So look at the bottom I mean I can actually redesign this whole mount it's not a big deal it just I wanted to get bite on the bottom you know it was gonna be a tight fit so um, maybe in the future I mean I'll, I'll redesign if I have to but like I said the, the less it's actually this will make sure make it more stable having it closer to the part like that um, yeah I mean maybe I'm gonna be in small pieces of aluminum flat pieces of aluminum cutting out flat pieces of aluminum maybe not, I'm not gonna be really doing, doing blocks so, this might be perfect, but like I said, if I have to, I, I can just move this thing up. I mean, I just have, I can cut the bottom of that block off. You know, I'll just redesign a new block, and I can move this up as far as I want, at least up to here. You know, so. 
that's not too much of a big deal. Um, yeah, like right now I'm just kind of like figuring it out. So, um, all right. So next thing up, so I gotta get the ball screw here, and I should be able to just go like this. So if I can get it to fit in there. Uh, hmm. All right, I'll have to figure it out. Uh, 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 uh. Got the ball screwed through, and that's actually why I put the M4 nuts in there first. Just because it'd be a nightmare to get in, in there once it's already on there. I'm just gonna use my little angled ball hex. Give me a better access, just tighten them up. Alright, so I think I got this thing pretty straight. I mean, I mean that's just the first I haven't even adjusted yet, but I actually got it pretty centered in that hole. Yeah, things with with ball screws is they don't flex. Like those lead screws, I mean, there's a lot of flex. You can get away with a lot of misalignment. Not with these ball screws. <laughs> Definitely not. These things are as hard as a rock. They don't move at all. All right, so uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I'll probably be doing it in the afternoon or something. Um, so I got to oil, I got to grease this up, but these bearings need to be totally worked in. I mean, linear rod bearings are always noisy, but these are definitely tight. You actually kind of want them tight, though, especially in the CNC. You don't want them, you don't want any slop. Slop is inaccuracy. Alright, so the size is definitely noise. Um, so, when you're actually mounting these ball screws, uh, before you drill the holes, at least, that's what I did on the bottom and it seemed to work pretty good. Um, because these ball, the ball screw, uh, these screws are here, they don't flex, they're super rigid. So I brought this all the way over to the left hand side before I, uh, that would, actually it will self align itself. Um, and then I'm actually going to mark, I'm going to grab a nail and hit it. That way I know where to drill the holes and tap them to mount this. So this actually right here was, since the ball screw was, I really needed about a 425. Um, so I had to create like a, a 27 millimeter spacer here for the end of it. So that, that way actually I, I could pick up the slack here. So all this stuff will be on my thing on the front of the page. And I have the uh, other part here. That's going to hold the uh, stabber. So. Uh, I'll get this section done. We'll see. Just tapping those with the M3. All right, so here's a closer look at the uh, stepper mount. So um, what's funny is that actually the M3 holes they line up perfectly with this thing. So I just have some M3 screws on the on the holder. I actually have M3 lock nuts that are actually uh, you know designed into the actual part here. So just go like that. You lock it in. Then I slide the Sever motor on that. All right, so I'm sorry for that background noise. Maybe I can filter it out in Premiere. That'll be Premiere what I use. All right, so I'm using Open Builds Control, and let's give this X axis a go here. All right, so we're looking good. Kind of wish this thing didn't stick out so far this way, but you know, you got to do, I guess. All right. All right, so like zero play. We're talking zero back and forth play. Um, and that's actually why you want the ball screw. Um, yeah, I mean, a little flex about flex here. I mean, ideally, you'd probably want a, like a linear rod or linear rail. Uh, excuse me, I'm not like a, one of these. Linear, uh, linear rail. Okay, so let's check out the uh, Y. All Got the X again. Yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna be pretty good. I mean, I, I, I mean, it can't be worse. Huh? <laughs> I mean, those lead screws are garbage. All right, so um, I think I should do it in the first video, but I actually bought this whole assembly thing here. Same thing, 1204 uh, ball screw. All right, so in the next video, um, I got a. I've already designed the spindle mount here. Um, and I got to re redesign my cable chain uh, to fit this. I'm going to have it mounted to the side here. Uh, I got to wire the Neo 23 stepper. Um, eventually, well, I'll get more into detail in that, in that last video, but yeah, I mean, I'd like to open up to uh, upgrade that closed loop drivers. But uh, yeah, so in the next video, I'll be getting this, the, the, the Z axis and all that stuff wired up. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't get this stuff done in the first shot. You know, I mean, it took me like a couple different shots to get this part going, you know, exactly how I wanted it. 
you know, a couple of millimeters, you know. So here, here are the, like the plates right here. Put all this on the Thingiverse page, but like I said, man, somehow you're just you gotta print it out, see how it fits, and but if you're not familiar with 3D printing, it's awesome. So I designed all the parts in Fusion 360, and then uh, yeah, print them out. So that's gonna be a template for a, uh, a C Pro um, hydraulic uh, for a boat, like hydraulic steering. Just like a template so I can like drill it perfectly. But yeah, if you're uh, watching this channel, I mean, definitely get a 3D printer. I mean, def definitely a game changer. So yeah, all this stuff is all 3D printed. Actually, I did 100% infill. Um, yeah, like I said, wait to your friend in CNC. So um, all right, guys, cool. Um, having fun. Can't wait to get this thing done so I can start cutting some aluminum. <laughs> wow.